Hello all, and this is my uh, second video in the NECA Ninja Turtles kind of unboxing stuff. Um, this time we're going to kind of look at the uh, foot soldiers. Um, and the last one I did Splinter and Shredder, and now we're looking at the foot soldiers, the two different ones as well. It's not just two random ones I bought, they're the two separate ones. Uh, the one that comes with the axe, and then the other one that comes with the, um, I believe it's like a the staff and the nunchucks and everything. Uh, basically the blunt weapons and the sharp weapons. So that's the way I kind of put it. Um, and it even says it on the bottom. Melee weapons, bladed weapons. Uh, NECA did already make the two-pack for these guys. And I actually saw about three or four of them here at my Walmart. I already had these sent to me. Um, I went in I had already picked these up online when those came out. Uh, I, I think the only real difference with those is that they come with that... Uh, is that they come with that weapons rack, but I just I couldn't justify paying that much just to get like that extra weapons rack thing. Um, so I just I was cool with just kind of keeping these. I guess I could have sold these and then picked up those two packs. Like I said, I saw a few of them at my Walmart. Um, I never found uh, the actual turtles, um, and I did see a couple of super shredders at one point. Um, but I did see a lot of these guys, and then I remember seeing one, uh, just one kind of, um, casing raft. But, um, I guess we can go ahead and just kind of get on these guys. So, we'll just start with the melee weapons one, kind of go from there. I think, uh, if I just kind of review, um... One foot soldier, it'll work, because I think they're the exact same foot soldier. I don't think there's any difference between these two action figures. Um, so we might do that. We might just kind of review one of the foot soldiers, and then um, kind of just look at all the different weapons that go with them, since they're the same figure. Okay... Uh, well, this is an interesting, weird-ass packaging era. I didn't know this when I got it. Uh, so a friend of mine, he had these, and I bought stuff from him before. Um, so I know he's legit, but it's kind of funny. Oh, he's missing a hand. That's amazing. Uh, this guy's got them both. This guy's missing one. I don't know if it just fell out. Did it fall out? Am I missing him somewhere? I'm trying to figure out if it fell out or if he was actually missing it to begin with. I don't see it anywhere. Well, that is interesting. I didn't even notice that when he was in the box. That's amazing. Um, well, good thing it comes with a bunch of other hands. Uh, so right off the bat, we got the staff. Uh, I'll pop that open, tape off, what tape does not work, not, there we go, alright, we'll get to the figure in a minute, uh, so we have an open hand, that one goes on the hand that's missing, Closed hand, uh, nunchucks, which are interesting because these ones actually have the little chain. Uh, splinters had a little hard rope and were not very poseable at all. Um, this one actually comes with a chain that moves, so that's kind of cool. Uh, another open hand, another closed hand. We have a different kind of, um, a uh, little back for his bandana, for his headband that he wears. We have two nightsticks. And then these are more like what Splinter kind of had. The um, kind of posable nunchucks. So the one Splinter came with, I don't think were this posable. Uh, his were a little bit harder to kind of mess with. Um, and then of course staff, like I said earlier. So those are kind of the blunt weapons that uh, they are going to come with. 
And then, let's see if we can get him out of the box. I actually got scissors with me this time. Oh, we've got ones on the feet, eh? Okay. And there is our foot soldier. Um, yeah, I mean, he looks good. He's missing a hand. I don't know what happened. I, When I was looking at this in the box, I swear he had two hands. Did it pop off? And it came out when I opened him, and I just missed it. Up. I don't know. I'm still looking over here. I apologize. That is hilarious. Uh, yeah, that is wild that he was missing a hand. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. You can just kind of go in here and just slide that one right in. And there you go. I mean, it's, like I said, it, it doesn't bother me that he's missing a hand. I just, I thought he had it. That is fascinating. I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, here he is. Um, this one is a lot like the shredder in the last one where he's kind of got a weird feel to him. Um, but this one doesn't have the sparkle, so it's not as rough, but, um, yeah, same thing though, where he's got like the, uh, cloth, uh, kind of sash, but then a molded plastic one here. So you get that kind of two different colors going. Um, the, you got the mask, the eyes, those kind of bug eyes, um, kind of looks like a messed up common rider. Um, the ponytail, the, the little ponytail thing in the back for the headband, that comes out so you can replace it with um, this one if you wanted to. Uh, in terms of articulation, he, you know, a lot like Shredder, uh, shoulder joints are just really stiff. These are really good, though. Like, those those feel pretty solid, uh, pretty loose and solid. Uh, his legs, same thing. Legs are fine. Um, those feel pretty good. Ankles on him are actually a lot better than they were on Shredder. Uh, so that's pretty good. He definitely stands a lot easier than Shredder did. Um, right off the bat, like, that's pretty good. Um, he's kind of got a lean. That's interesting. Oh, no, there we go. You can just fix that. But if you kind of pose him like that way, he looks like he's got a lean, but he really doesn't. Um, I mean, beyond that, though, this is, again, it's a foot soldier, so kind of what you expect to have with these guys. Um... I mean, I'm almost positive the other one is the exact same, so I don't think I really need to take him out and do a whole lot. Um, head articulation, neck articulation is great. I mean, yeah, he's just he's a basic foot soldier. Not much going on there. Um, but we can go ahead and open up the other one and try to see what weapons we are getting with him. So... Uh, oh, this guy's got everything. No missing hands. So that's nice. That was so weird. Just missing hands. Okay, I'll put the blood, the melee weapons over here. I don't want to mix these up when I pack them back. Um, okay, we got dump those out. Dump those out, and then we got the sword. And then these guys all cut out. second full soldier compared to the first one i mean yeah they're the exact same figure this one's a uh, little kind of sash sticks out a little bit more um i think that's probably just a little qc control issue um quality control issue other than that they're the exact same thing um there's nothing different at all uh so we can kind of just separate those take a look at what's really kind of here um, same thing also with the hands. The hands are the exact same. There is nothing different about these. Um, I, I'm pretty sure even the little bow or the little thing that goes on the back of the headband, uh, those are the same. 
literally the only thing that is different about these are the weapons that he comes with. Uh, this guy comes with the sharp weapons, the bladed weapons instead. So we got a sword, two sai, and an axe. So that is the only difference. One comes with, you know, the nightstick, you know, a staff, nunchucks, all that stuff. The uh, melee weapons, this comes with the bladed weapons. That is the only difference between these. Beyond that, everything else is the same. The figures are the same. The um, articulations, this guy's actually a little bit looser than the other one. His, just, his shoulders are actually a little bit better, too. Oh, interesting. Um, everything else is the exact same. Uh, even the hands and accessories, except for the weapons. Those are the only thing that are different about these. Um, that being said, they look great, and it's cool to have two, so you can have multiples. Like, you don't just want one lonely foot soldier attacking everybody. Like, you know, that guy's just gonna, he's gonna suffer, so, you know, give him a friend. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're the exact same figures, just with different, uh, the exact same hands, the exact same, uh, headband piece, just, um, different weapons. Um... And I believe this is the same way in the two-pack. I don't know what the differences are between these two guys and then the two-pack that just came out not that long ago. Uh, if anybody knows, let me know. I don't know if those are different than these or if those two foot soldiers are different from each other somehow. But these ones are, I mean, the exact same figure. So there is no difference really at all. Um, but that's going to be it for this one. Like I said, just the uh, weapons are different. They look great for what they are. I mean, there's um, no doubting that. Just as foot soldiers, they look perfect straight out the movies and everything. Um, so that's great. But um, yeah, that's that's going to be kind of it for this one. And I uh, appreciate you guys watching the uh, next one. I think I'm going to go ahead and do one of the Turtle 2 packs. Um, so either Leo and Donnie or Raph and Mikey. Uh, probably Raph and Mikey um, since it's it's kind of already there. But um, yeah, thank you for watching and that'll be it for this one.